Um, today I'm going to do a short segment on how to apply a screen protector to your mobile device. First things you're going to need are a screen protector of your choice, any type will do, a microfiber cloth applicator, usually packaged with a screen protector, some type of cardboard applicator, this one happened to come with it, card, uh, credit card will work perfectly, um, and some scotch tape. What we're going to do is we're going to do two different methods of application. We're going to do one that's called the hot dog style, in which we're going to apply the screen protector long ways. The other one we're going to do is called the peel and roll method, which I will show you as well. Both of these are proven application tactics. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mobile device and our microfiber cloth and get the screen as clean as we possibly can, just like that. Perfect. All right. I'm going to lay it down. First one we're going to do is the hot dog method. So we want to get our screen protector in the right angle, which is going to be like this for this device. We're going to remove the plastic shield that is built into the screen protector. And then we're going to take the screen protector, manipulate it, get it so that it's long ways. You're going to bend it in half. So it's kind of like a hot dog. Wise, that's the, the hot dog style. We're going to line up the applicator with some kind of reference point. So be it a button, this one I'm using the optical thing right down here, and we're going to just lay it down so that it kind of just falls on itself and applies itself. So as you can see here, I didn't do such a great job. Um, I've got a lot of bubbles, so I'm going to go ahead and work those out. Um, you just push the bubbles out just like that. Anyway, it takes a little bit of time, but once you get all the bubbles worked out and things like that, it works perfectly. Um, next what we're going to do is the peel and roll method. So let's go ahead and take this one off and get rid of that. So screen protector again, get this one ready. The way that this one works is a little bit different. You want to line up the screen protector however your screen protector is made. So we're going to go ahead and turn it around like this. What you do is you peel back only a portion of your screen protector, probably about a quarter to a third of the screen protector. I stick it down on the sticky side first, orient the screen protector so that it is somehow use some kind of reference point again I'm using the optical drive or the optical button I should say on my device push down take the cardboard applicator and as you apply you're going to slide the screen protector out and on so that was pretty good um, I got that one lined up really really well I'm gonna push out a couple of the bubbles get everything kind of uh, straight and clear here looking good so now let's just say we've got something stuck under here like we do on this side Something is stuck to the bottom of the screen protector. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scotch tape. We're going to take off one piece of scotch tape. We're going to lay it down over the corner where the item is stuck under, just like so. Take another piece of scotch tape. Turn it upside down so that the sticky side is facing up. You're going to pull back on the scotch tape that is already stuck to the screen. And hopefully my scotch tape isn't that sticky, so it's not going to work. This tape sucks really bad. Yeah. Caliber. Had to get some new tape. So we're back. What we're going to do is, so once I get the tape applied, I'm going to use the tape that is stuck to the top of the screen protector, peel the screen protector back a little ways, just like you see here. With the sticky side up, I'm going to stick it to the bottom of the screen protector and pick off anything that's stuck to it, lay the screen protector back down, peel the tape off, get rid of any of the bubbles, and voila, perfectly applied screen protector.